theatre, TV, film, comedy, drama, but more importantly, you do all this amazing stuff, yet you give more airtime to Mildred on your social media. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, well, she's such a sweetheart. She photographs so well. And you're good at baking as well. Great British Bake Off. We're waiting for you. I, I never cooked or baked anything in my life. I mean, here and there, I would you know, make yeah. a piece of salmon or something, but somehow stumbled upon a, a lemon bar recipe. And I went, I'm going to bake that thing. It was so good. <gasps> I made them like, I did it like a hundred times. Is there anything you're bad at? Um, dancing. You can't tell me how to do a step. They'll say, do a step ball. I can't do it. But if they say dance. Hey, listen, I love your energy. Whenever you share stuff um, on social media, which I think is brilliant for us as fans because we get to see a different side of you, which I think is lovely sometimes. I know it can be intrusive, but you do it in a way where you still retain some privacy. Oh, yeah. But you always have this element of joy. It's, you know what, I, I it's natural. that I, I, I haven't had to, um, I mean, I have moments when I'm down, but I do, I, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. I have kind of a, uh, I love what I do. And I think if I didn't get to do, watch my hair went a little crazy. If I didn't get to do what I love, that might be a different story, but I love it so much. And um, I, I love, I love being this person, <laughs> Jane, <laughs> you know, I, I love um, dressing it in the morning and, <laughs> and walking the dog with this person. I just love it. I love it. This is an important event. No personal business on company. Ah, group photo. Okay, get the whole gang. Weren't we the gang and you were more management? Now it's a party down reunion. Um, just yes. what everyone's dying for. <laughs> Be a part of this show. What is it that makes it so special? Because you, again, you're having fun with a bunch of people that are also very like-minded, I would think. Yeah, we, we love it. And it, it, uh, uh, it was joyful from the first day. It was one of those... Um, casting kind of miracles where we all we didn't all know each other some of them did I didn't know any of them but you get together and it's almost like carbonation it's like we start it started popping and yeah. it was so much fun to go to work it was truly one of the highlights of my career it, it was the kind of fun you have when um you're in an ensemble of people uh sometimes it happens in a play or in a comedy group where it just works yeah and so it was a it was a family affair it was really a small delightful little group of people oh. very generous mm -hmm. and kind kind of vibe and it doesn't work if it's not that's nice to know actually um this week um we're heading towards the BAFTAs which are happening this weekend which right. is pretty exciting and then Oscars of course it is award season um I've been talking to a lot of amazing people and I've, I've often wondered we get excited. I'm on the other side of the road where I get to talk to a lot of you wonderful people. But is this season like you you know what it's like? Is it exciting or is it pressure? I don't like it. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Even when I was doing it for the first time, I went, oh, I get to do that. And it, 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 uh, it's, it just feels so, um, it feels so false. And, and if I, if I uh, uh, reframe it in my mind as kind of a celebration of the art form yeah. for the audience, then, then that's fine. And yeah. I actually look at all of this stuff that way. Um, I, I, you know, I also, I started getting famous when I was 50. So, you know, I wasn't, um, I was a little more mature and um, this kind of stuff just didn't, didn't mean, I don't know, I've never gotten excited about it. And now I kind of just don't really like it. <laughs> I think I would be the same. I was watching the Grammys over the weekend, or I think it was last weekend, even Super Bowl with Rihanna. And I was like mm -hmm. at home in my pajamas. And I was like, oh my God, this is like the best way to watch this because you don't have to be on those carpets in uncomfortable shoes, wondering if people think I look okay. Did I say the mm -hmm. right thing? You know, right. so I kind of completely understand, even though I'm on the other side of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll bet. I'll bet it's the same thing for you too. You kind of have to, if you think too hard about what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> It can be really depressing, but if you uh, frame it in the right way and make it more of a generous thing that you're doing it for, you're doing it for your show, you're doing it for your fellow cast members, you're doing it for your producers um, and for the audience who, yeah. you know, we wouldn't have what we have without the audience. Yeah. So when I think of it as kind of a gratitude that way, it, it's it's nice and, and, I, and I believe it, I buy it. <laughs> No, no, that, that actually is a nice way of looking at it. Um, the uncomfortable shoes still need to go, but you don't have that issue. because Oh, you're yeah. I, you know, I did in the beginning. <laughs> I would wear the, I I would know, wear the dresses Jane, and the I, shoes. Jane, I'm sorry, but you've got height. 
you're fortunate. Us shorties at five foot six, we're like, I need uh -huh. a I need a But heel. I still wore uncomfortable shoes and I didn't need to. Now I don't. It must be so fun to be back slinging derves with the old gang. Mm -mm, no. I've watched your career over the years and loved you and different things, especially since Sylvester, the queen of Adidas. But I've, uh -huh. I've, I've noticed that you don't, you kind of stick out like a sore thumb in a beautiful way. You don't try and conform and fit into whatever the conventional mold is supposed to be. No, when I was young, no, I wanted to conform. I wanted to be like everybody else. I didn't want to stick out like a sore thumb. I um, wanted to like boys. I wanted to want to get married. Um, I'm married now, but I'm very happy. Congratulations. I wanted to be, I wanted to just want what everybody wanted and I didn't. I didn't, yeah. and it's not just sexuality stuff. It's um, just kind of the way I go about, I mean, I look, I'm different. I look different. I'm bigger than everybody. I have a smaller head than most people. <laughs> you um, have a smaller head. Excuse me, yeah. high cheekbones. Not <laughs> people can have out, short, short hair and look gorgeous. You can. No. Thank you. Well, God bless you. Um, yeah. So I guess that my life really was a process of, uh, you know, not looking so much on the outside uh, yeah. trying to, well, we used to say in Alcoholics Anonymous, matching yeah. my outsides, uh, my insides to somebody's outsides. Uh, everybody's terrified. <laughs> Everybody thinks they're weird. And um, I just accepted it. Not that I'm weird. I just accepted that this is who I am. This is a big opportunity. I want high professional service. This is not how I envisioned my 40s. Uh -huh. Listen, the weakest link. That's another thing that blew my mind that you did yeah. this. Over here, it's like a huge, huge show. And Anne no. Robinson is like a total lunatic and people are frightened of is her. She? Yes. Yeah. You have played this character, right? Is it is mm -hmm. it fun becoming oh. her? It is. It is. It's really good. Of course, I do my own take on it because, you know, I wouldn't think for a second that I could match what Anne Robinson did. But... um. Yeah, I enjoy it a lot. You know, I think uh, um, I, I, I'm not mean through the whole thing. I, I, I split the difference in my own way. But, you know, I do it the way that makes me happy. And turns out that, you know, it's it, it they're fine with it. The producers are fine with it. Absolutely. Thank you. Pleasure. Jane, you rock. Thank um, you, darling. So much success with this new show and everything else you do. Come to London. We want to see yeah, you. I would love to. Oh, I am. I'm coming to London in July. Okay, what are you doing quickly? What's your plan? I'm taking a, I'm taking a three week course at um, Oxford. I know okay, I'm gonna be staying in the dorms and stuff. Coming. I'm coming, I'm there, taking okay, a Shakespeare a thing. Day. Take care, yeah. have a wonderful okay. day. Okay, Bye, Bye care. Thanks, Max. Are you okay? You know, I had some silver for gravitas. Give it your hand.